despite becoming ever more popular, women's boxing is still fighting for proper recognition. Boxing is the only Olympic sport women can't compete in. Female boxers like Norway's Ingrid Egner still have to square up to chauvinism on a daily basis. Some older men believe that women's boxing is not worth watching. For them it's a bit like women's football. They think we scratch and bite when we fight. But those of us who box on a competitive level actually train really hard to achieve these standards. Egner lives in Oslo, Norway's capital. Most people tend to take up boxing as a fitness regime rather than a sport in which to compete. An aspiring amateur boxer, Ingrid's days revolve around work, training and domestic chores. With a full-time job and a demanding training schedule, there's little time for much else in Ingrid's life. She recently bought a small flat with her boyfriend just outside Oslo city centre. It also doesn't help that she lives in one of the five most expensive cities in the world. It's quite expensive to compete at international level. You can't party any time you'd like to, but it doesn't feel like a sacrifice because I have such a good time during practice in the gym. Ingrid works at the University of Oslo. With boxing likely to remain purely a passion for her, it's important she has an alternative source of income. In 2007, I received a master's in sports biology from the Norwegian School of Sports Sciences. I've since worked as a research assistant and studied molecular biology. This summer, I started my PhD program at the University of Oslo in molecular biology. I study muscles and how the cells are activated and how myonuclei change with atrophy and hypertrophy. Thanks, Ingrid. Well, somebody has to. A few years ago, Norway looked set to make a big impact in the sport. Henrietta Birkeland was a pioneer of women's boxing in Norway and was twice European champion. Now married to Martin Keitel, she was an idol for many aspiring fighters. Her retirement came as a body blow to Norwegian women's boxing. We now have a couple of girls who we think can become great because they have such potential. We had a great team in the past, followed by a little dip, but now we're back on track. I've got really great hopes for the future. At last year's European Championships held in Denmark, Ingrid defeated Turkey's Nagehan Gul on points in the semi-finals. But in the final she lost to one of the many formidable Russian fighters, Yelena Gorshkova, and is still chasing an elusive first major title. It may well happen at the forthcoming women's amateur boxing.